How has your anthropology background proven helpful working in unfamiliar environments, including with the United States military? Being trained as an ethnographer, being trained in, in a, sort of having this cultural anthropology background um, significantly changes the way how I, how, I, how I do my work or being in a, a stranger, different situations. Uh, this is one of the reasons I'm against focus groups. Um, I think the concept of a focus group is laughable that you bring people in to a sterile uh, research environment so that the researcher can be comfortable and, and safe and happy, but the respondents, the people who you want to be open and honest, are the ones who are uncomfortable and on edge. That's backwards to me. It's the responsibility of the researcher to go to the respondents. It's the responsibility of the researcher to go into the environment, into the homes, into the societies, into the buildings, into the offices of the people that they want to study and understand. If the, it's the responsibility of the researcher to deal with the discomfort rather than forcing the respondent to, to be uncomfortable. And so that's how I was raised, you know, um, um, both academically and that's how I was actually raised. I lived all over the world um, <laughs> as a kid. We traveled around a lot. And so um, I will always go to somebody if I'm interested in them um, and um, I believe they are the ones who the, should be comfortable and I'm the one who should be uncomfortable. That, that's correct um, because that way you get the, the best answers. And so because that's how I've always done things, I have no problem going to very unfamiliar um, environments. For me, it's an object of curiosity. If I'm uncomfortable, I want to understand what's making me uncomfortable and I think that's kind of cool.